Hello, I'm Matthew Wood from Orchards Estates, here today with the Yeovil Property Blog as we continue the countdown of Yeovil's top 30 most popular and desirable roads. We're here today at number 16, which is Plantagenet Chase. Now, Plantagenet Chase has an average house price of 219,000, making it one of the more expensive roads in Yeovil. With 132 residential property addresses and 171 sales having taken place since 19... 95, that gives us nearly 130% sales success rate. This helps to keep this almost in the top 15, but certainly one of the most desirable. There's a fair mix of properties from bungalows to detached houses, uh, which makes this popular, particularly with the location, with the trees behind us, and close to Westlands and near to town, and ample parking. Let's have a quick look at a few of those properties that have sold recently. 87 Plantagenet Chase sold in January 17 for 195,000. This three bedroom detached bungalow had nice driveway with parking leading to the garage. There was a dual aspect living room making a lovely light area. The country style kitchen also had space for a table creating a breakfast area. The third bedroom was used as a dining room. Now this is quite common in bungalows. We see this a lot and the patio garden to the rear had a useful, easy maintenance feel to it. 81 Plantagenet Chase, which sold in October 16 for 230,000, was a three bedroom detached house. As you can see, it was very well presented uh, with a beautiful L-shaped lounge diner. The modern fitted kitchen and the on-trend wood block work surfaces also continue the feel of this modern home. There was an enclosed rear garden with a raised patio area leading to the lawn. 101 Plantagenet Chase, sold in September 16 for 215750 Very well presented, with a modern vibe, but retaining a real homely feel. The dining area, as you can see, had some French doors opening onto the garden, giving a great feeling of space and enjoying the outdoors from inside. The spacious shaker style kitchen really adds to the feel of this property. And with a private garden with a small patio area and a terrace planting area, it really fits between the modern and also useful for the traditional bungalow occupier. And there we go. As you can see, some beautiful properties. And in this modern suburbia, also helps to make that very desirable. So stay tuned. We're nearly into the top 15 and uh, I will see you next time when we'll be counting that down. Goodbye for now.